Christ. And uh, what happened was, it, it goes back to David Schneider's uh, collaborative project with Raymond Firth, uh, mm -hmm. which wasn't really collaborative at all. But they had met at the center uh, for advanced study in Palo Alto and decided they first had done some little studies of kinship in London. The feeling was, here we are studying kinship among Malay fishermen and so on. We don't know anything about what's happening in England. We should do things. So he'd done some small studies. And Schneider had also done studies of kinship terminology and various things, although his first field work had been on Yap in uh, <laughs> Micronesia. Um, Sorry, where did you say? Yap, the island of Yap in Micronesia, yeah. which is an American territory. So they agreed they would do a comparative study of English and American middle class, or Chicago and London middle class kinship. And they drew up um, a kind of protocol, a list of things that they would uh, cover. and. Uh, each went their own way, and occasionally they would exchange stuff. But the two <laughs> studies became so different. I mean, first was a very empirical study of the actual mechanisms of relationship uh, among family members and so forth, whereas Schneider was interested in the conceptual structure of kinship and um, what the what people knew about their kinship universe. How far did it extend? How much did they know about each relative? Uh, what did they think were the, were the kind of uh, generating cultural concepts that give rise to kinship behavior? And he collected a mass of material. <laughs> When it, when the book came out, it had been boiled down to this little thing, <laughs> and the the dean sent him a note saying, "Thank you for your pamphlet." <laughs> 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 and a lot of the students who had worked on the study, doing all these detailed interviews and so on, they were furious. You know, they said, "Where is the material?" That mm -hmm. And Schneider's view was, well, you can look at the material if you like, but this is my, <laughs> this is what I think it, it all means. And so, uh, so did never, nobody ever wrote that up in detail? Well, the, the files are all there. The files are there? Yeah. In, where are they? In the They're in the special collections. Yes. Yeah. 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 But uh, I must say, I was very surprised myself, because uh, you know, I heard about the comparative work, and I knew Raymond Firth's book, and yeah, so I was yeah. astonished, as you say, it's yeah, yeah. it is like a pamphlet. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> However, it's it's interesting nonetheless. I mean, mm. he's got, uh, you know, he he tried to get at what he thought were the the generative concepts, and in fact, mm. his analogy is to language. You know, if you understand the grammar of kinship, you will yeah. be able to understand. Uh, speech, which is in itself not, you know, all the actual mess of the way people do things is not susceptible to really, uh, to real analysis in that way. All you can do with that is, is uh, a kind of, uh, the kind of thing that uh, sociologists do, you know, treat each individual act as a an instance and then add them all together and see what mm -hmm. comes on.